What's up vendors, Cosmic Vending back with another video and today we're going to be collecting from my bulk vending route and we're going to jump right into the video and not waste any time. The first stop on the route is uh, the first of three car wash locations. This machine was a little slower than average. We did 1025 this month and if you stick around to the end of the video you'll see the last two car wash locations that did really well. So if you watched my previous collection video, you know that I could not collect from this gumball machine inside the electronic repair store. And that's because the lock is misaligned and you can see here it's not where it needs to be. But I figured out how to fix it and I'm actually going to post a video in the near future on how to fix that if that should ever happen to you. It's actually a fairly common thing that happens with these machines, so stick around for that. Now this machine is usually on the slower side, but because I couldn't collect for a while, you're looking at about three months here. And we did 2186, which is about what I would expect. My next stop is a tire shop, and I had the same issue that I just had with the previous machine where the lock was misaligned. Unfortunately, I couldn't fix this one, so I'm going to have to swap that machine out uh, on my next visit. But I left it on location for now, it's got enough gumballs, but I'll have to take that home and drill the lock out. So I went off to my next location, and it's the same company, just a different spot, another tire shop. And when I went in, they told me that corporate was actually coming and that they aren't allowed to have the machines anymore and that I was going to have to take the machine home with me. So I'm doing the collection from home, unfortunately. I'm not really sure what the issue was. I think maybe the managers didn't know the rules and now corporate has found out, so they're asking me to leave. I've had these locations for a while with no issues, um, but I'm worried I'm going to lose the other tire shop too where the machine with the broken lock is. They didn't say anything this time around, but I'm expecting to probably lose my machine uh, at that location next time I go. Uh, regardless, I did 656 this month with this machine. The next location is a new one that I've added to the route, and I didn't get a full video of the machine, I'm sorry, but it's a double head with gumballs and skittles. It's in a barbecue place, and we did 480 this month. It's actually just under a month. Um, so nothing crazy yet, but hopefully that picks up in the future. And now we're in a JCPenney break room, and previously I had a single head with M&Ms, and I added a double head, and now we're doing M&Ms and Skittles, and together we did 13.58. Next up, we're at a men's warehouse, and this has grown to be one of the better machines on my route. It's so crazy, I wouldn't expect that from a from a men's warehouse, but it does better than you think it would. Uh, today we did 14.25. After this, we're going to head over to the sports bar, which is one of my slowest locations. I could probably go three months without collecting from here, but it's on the way, so I always stop by and see how it's doing. It doesn't help that there's another gumball machine in here, but mine is right by the change machine, so I leave it in here and just see how it does. Today, we only did $2. Next up, we're at a collision repair shop, and I think this machine was a little slower than average. It's usually a pretty good machine, over $20. Um, the employees love it, they're always the ones that eat it up. Uh, today we did 1375, which is not too bad, I'll take it. Next up we're in a pizza shop with a Skittles machine. And again, usually one of my better machines, around $20. I feel like it was a little slower this month, um, but still I can't complain with all these quarters. Got it filled up and we did 1250. And as promised, I saved the best two for last, the two car wash locations. As you can see, this machine is almost empty. And that's a good feeling because there's another gumball machine in here from another vendor. So I'm always happy when I see that they're choosing my machine and not the other one. But this month we did 4515. I did something a little crazy and switched to nerd gumballs with a 50 cent mech. The other vendor here is running regular gumballs for 25 cents. So we'll see if I still have the same amount of success next month. And last but not least, the final car wash location, again, almost empty. The manager actually texted me and said that they needed refilled on gumballs. So I came over immediately the same day and got them restocked. I was surprised because they just added a vending machine and I thought that that might affect sales some. But it didn't and we did $60.01. And I think that's going to do it for this collection. I'm going to have a video soon of me cashing in these quarters, so if you want to see that, stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel and showing the channel love. I'm at almost 200 subscribers now, and I know that's not a lot, but I never thought I would even have 10 people who care about what I post, so 
thank you to everyone. I hope you stick around. I'm going to continue posting and continue documenting my uh, vending journey. So again, thank you everyone. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.